All right, all right. We are Willem and Annika from the Mission Trekkers. Welcome to the podcast, Travelling Friends of Oz, where we have a chat to other travellers around Australia about their travels, their tips, experiences and more. We're excited to have a chat to One for the Road. They are renovating a bus, which they're going to make livable as a home to actually take your little family um, and travel around Australia. So we're really excited to hear from them why and just more about their their journey, I guess. Mm. Let's meet them. Jeremy and Gillian, thanks so much for joining us. How are you guys? We're great. Thanks for having us. How are you? We are good. good. Yeah, we're very good. And it's awesome to have you guys on our podcast and learn more about, obviously, what travel life is for you um, and the things that you guys are doing right now. So um, do you want to start off with just telling us a little bit about yourselves, where you're from, you know, like your story? Well, yours is more interesting than mine. <laughs> oh, <don't> know about <laughs> that. <clears throat> um, well, we're both from southeast Queensland. Uh, well, grew up here anyway. Um we just recently spent the last sort of two years uh, in New Zealand. That's where we're living with. Uh, we've got two young kids, so we were over there living, and um, yeah, we just that's where everything started for us with the idea of travel. I guess we. Um, I'm a musician, so I've always sort of floated around. I guess for a, a lack of better wording, but um, it's always been on the road for me, and um, and just working in all over the well not just the country but around the world but um mm. yeah I guess it was yeah. once we'd gotten over to New Zealand and then uh once the um COVID stuff had hit um we just we took had a, a lot of time yeah to watch a lot of, <laughs> to watch a lot of YouTube so we traveled a fair bit we moved a few different places after the kids were born um different states and stuff and then He's been asking me the whole time I've known him to move to New Zealand because okay. <laughs> his family's originally from there. And we just yeah. one day bit the bullet and said, yeah, let's go. And we'd been there, what, we got there in September of 2019. So we were yeah. there maybe five, six months and then all the lockdowns happened. Yeah. So um, we spent a lot of time in lockdown because over there they shut everything yeah, down. Yeah, they shut it they? down pretty quick. Mm. The whole country mm. was shut down for quite a long time. I think it was like eight weeks. Yeah. And um, so we had nothing to do but watch youtube because we ran out of netflix and (laughs) (laughs) and um yeah we just we'd always thought like how could we travel full time and yeah i guess that's where it started then um with youtube and whatnot jillian found um another traveling family um kind of they trip an event yeah they 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 were i guess inspiration is probably like three or four different um I don't know, um, vloggers like you've got um, Young Bloods over in WA as well. Like um, they're pretty, well, he's super creative and the energy he's got, uh, it's, yeah, entertaining. Then uh, I think it was just the WA, again, WA trip that um, Trip and Van did up the coast with the free camp and that. Yeah. Uh, I think they did it maybe like two years ago. Yeah, it was an old one. Yeah, it was their first. But. It would have showed us you could do it with kids. Yeah. Because we mm. hadn't seen anyone do yeah. it with kids anymore, sort of in mm. front of us. Yeah. And um, and then Eamon and Beck, which yeah. were a Canadian couple, um, and they had done like a, a van, transit van yeah. um, fit out, and they had travelled Canada and then shipped their van over to Europe, which I thought was pretty crazy. Um, yeah. And... I guess that was inspiration for us to to sort of know that it could be done. Yeah. Um, so while we're in the middle of a lockdown in New Zealand, <laughs> we blindly bought a bus in Sydney. Um, Sorry, <laughs> and, yeah, then um, got it up to our parents' place in Queensland. And then over the six months, seven months after we bought the bus, just trying to figure out how we could get back to Queensland. Uh, and yeah, it was, was just a lot of cancelled flights, a lot yeah. of it was an absolute mess. But um yeah, so that that's sort of how we come about with the yeah. um I guess the idea of, of traveling. Yeah, and then we just sort of thought, well, we'll film it too, everyone else is doing <laughs> yeah. it. So surely we'd be able to. And then yeah. yeah, we just filmed a bit about New Zealand trip and then 
And yeah, when we got home, we started on the bus. But yeah, we spent a lot of time. We had a hallway that was about a meter and a half wide, and we measured <laughs> out the bus in it. It was great. That we're like, now yeah, <laughs> the bus will be about thirty centimeters wider than this hall, and it'll be from where that towel is to the other towel. And then, but that's where the front seat is. So we'll move that tower forward. Uh, it was great. <laughs> that's cool. So you had a lot of time, obviously, planning and then yeah. getting excited to actually go and, and do it, which probably is yeah. a good idea to start planning before you just start building. So, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, but that sounds really cool. So much. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you like now, um, obviously, yeah. you're in Queensland. Um, do you go for travels like otherwise? Like have you got a camera yeah, set up that you go traveling a little bit? So at the moment, we're still completing the bus build. Um, we are getting so close to finishing, which is awesome. But um, yeah, I would say um, we still travel a fair bit. Um, with my music, like we're able to, um, yeah, we're still, with the restrictions and that, it has been hard to do anything in the state because the last thing we want to do is be getting stuck but we have been uh, able to do a fair bit of Queensland um, just over the last sort of six to eight months we do spend a lot of time out west yeah um, and we found that that sort of it has been a pretty busy area too for Queensland because yeah. people haven't been able to travel overseas or too much in the state a lot of people have been getting in the caravans and heading out west and seeing the outback which is awesome for those regional towns as well like they're getting mm -hmm. so many people come through and, and decent money going into their economy so yeah, yeah it, it is good and it, and then it provides us with an opportunity to make an income and travel at the same time so it's been great yeah, yeah. good stuff that's, so awesome. you, that's a great story and like the way you're traveling now obviously we know how you're doing it now but you see you mentioned about the bus tell us a bit more about what's going on with the bus and how your yeah. rig is going to look or what's your vision for that? Yeah. All right. So when we first seen it, um, <clears throat> long story short, it's full of rust. Yeah. <laughs> um, we, we were told, so when we first got it, um, we bought it from Sydney and we were told it spent its life in Sydney. It was a bachelor's bus where you'd hire it and drive it around. Yeah. So it had a couple of dings, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, we ripped it up and we thought, oh, you know, it might have a little bit of rust, whatever. Yeah. And as soon as we started pulling the walls off, it was just red dust. The whole yeah. thing was caked in, my, like inside the walls in the oh. insulation. We we had to pull it back to a skeleton. So, so um, it definitely didn't spend most yeah, of no. its life at Manly. I think it was more maybe Broken Hill in around <laughs> the mines and stuff. But um, but yeah, there's it was an absolute mess. There's a lot of rust we've had to cut out. And yeah. fix. Um, but some of the dings, whoever drove that before we got it, oh, my God. Must have had a couple of big nights. Yeah, there's some creative. They must have let the guys on the bucks drive it, I reckon. It was a mess. <laughs> but we're getting there. We're getting yeah. it um, fixed up. So yeah. we've done the kids' bunks. We've done the kitchen, the eating area. Um, yeah. We're bathrooms. halfway through the bathroom. Yeah, I'd say maybe a bit more. Be a little more positive. We're about 75% of <laughs> the way through the bathroom. Yeah. Um, um, our bed, we haven't started that because that's where all yeah. our, um, what's it called, electricity yeah. system's going? All the solar system, yeah. um, the gas box and the water tank is all under there. So we just wanted to make sure the plumbing, um, the gas work and all the electrics were done before we started building over it. Like the bed will be on gas struts, so it's easy mm -hmm. enough to access, but we just... While we've got the um, Sparky and that in there, we just want to try Make and give them as much them. room as possible. Um, but, yeah, so we, we do have the two bunks in there for the kids, which yeah. you don't see much in a bus because we only have yeah. a small bus, 25-seater. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we thought we'll sort of give them their own space. Um, we're getting it painted soon, so yeah. that's going to be So exciting. it'll be um, our, our colours teal so we're going yeah. with that um, like a white teal and then we have yeah. a trailer being made up that's going to go behind it that's getting painted the same and then we're going to have he's put a bike mount on it we're going to have like a tinny <clears throat> yeah hopefully in eventually yeah, we'll have a tinny on the top tinny in that. i love my fishing so a lot mm. of the the videos that we do put up if they're traveling we'll try and incorporate some sort of mud crabbing or fishing or something like that we do like getting out and about and doing things so, yeah mm. yeah awesome that sounds great 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't a lot wait of work to see it, it all done. Like, but yeah, it seems like it's going to be good when it's done. We know what you f- we know <laughs> what you feel like because we're we're like doing the bathroom at the moment in the caravan and it's just mm, like yeah. we just get there and <laughs> um, yeah. but I'm still it working full time. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Well we watched a lot of builds online and we're like, oh sweet. We we gave ourselves a six month time frame. We we're like, yeah. we'll have it done in six months. This is our this is our budget. This is our, yeah. we've had to like triple the budget, the yeah. time frame where we've just hit a year <laughs> a month ago. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we thought we'd smash through it after watching everybody else's videos, yeah. but I think they obviously know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I think one of the big problems with the build is like when you don't do anything for maybe like a fortnight and then you, you sit there thinking, oh, we've got so much to do, we've got mm. so much to do, what can we do next? And then once you walk in through the doors again after being out of it for a fortnight, you're like, there's not that much to do. It's not that hard. Yeah. Like, and then once you get like into that first hour, you just you start getting a roll on. Heaps gets done. You're like, why have I put this off? Mm. But, it's having to stop and start because yeah, if you could just I keep going, exactly you can saying. just get it done. Yeah, we know. Yeah, yeah. He and gets like, annoyed when, when I have to tell him to come and get dinner. He's like, no, I'm, I don't want to get dinner. Like I just want to finish what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you get on a roll, hey. But yeah, when we went out west, we were there for I think it was about eight weeks, and mm. oh, it was we came back and we're like, oh. Like we hadn't done anything, obviously. Yeah. But mm. yeah, for example, like I had the dash ripped out, the seats ripped out, everything, and I put that off for so long. Like I, I told Jeremy, I'm like, I'll do that because I pulled it apart. I know where everything goes. You know, I'd done it while he was away, and <laughs> it was like three months. I, I, left I couldn't <laughs> move the bus. Like it was up on ramps, and for me to move the bus off the ramps, I had to sit on a milk crate because there's no chair. <laughs> The, the um like the gear stick was at, like it, I could pick it up and like flick it around the bloody <laughs> like it wasn't attached. It wasn't so I'm like oh sitting there and I'm like I'm like that should be first up in there and it's like moving like that and I'm like that'd be so, and I'm like that should be reversed. Meanwhile, I'm hoping <laughs> I don't launch off the front of these ramps, um, but managed to get it back down. By the time I redid it. It had been that long that I'd forgotten, so I had to watch back to our video of taking it apart. And it was I'm pretty sure I time lapsed it, so I'm watching it like in reverse, trying to figure out where everything was. Oh, oh yeah, three months later, we managed to move. But it, wow. the back is done now. Yeah, and he uh, has a seat. Yeah, I've got my seat there. Yeah. Good stuff. Oh, good. Yeah, we can't wait to. Yeah, can't wait to see that all done and follow the journey on when you start traveling in it, which would be awesome. So. Oh, I'm assuming <laughs> oh yeah yeah I know lots of people who lots of people have been stuck in WA or like not wanting to leave WA that um that we yeah. follow uh, just because they know how good it is here yeah <laughs> and don't want to go to the other states and then yeah lots of people are saying they need to get over here and they just can't because the borders aren't opening yeah mm. um yeah it's a bit of frustration for some it's a yeah, yeah. tough time yeah. <laughs> so when the rig's finished now you're going to go and start travel. Um, you obviously mentioned that you're a musician. How are you, is, that, is that the way you're going to get the income and how does all of that all work? How do you get that? Yeah, so <clears throat> the, that will be the main plan. That will be the main source of income. Um, okay. Both the, both the kids um, absolutely love music, so they, they want to be involved Um so yeah, we've got a mummager here that'll be able to sell all the merch and stuff. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, we'll I'll probably do the bulk of it, I'd imagine, and then we'll just have like a little family band sort of set within it. And um everyone loves that when the kids get up, they think it's a bit cute. So yeah. well um he did a festival recently and Zakaya jumped up and sung with him at this festival on one of the big stages with yeah. the light and She's nine and everybody just loved it. They love kids that do that sort of stuff. Yeah. So that's exciting. But, yeah, he's been a full-time musician for, <laughs> well, he's done music since you were, like, 15. Yeah. Um, he had a full-time job for about six years in there and then he's gone back to doing music full-time. So, yeah, yeah it's it's awesome because he can do it on the road. Yeah, so that's the thing. Somewhere. Like, we, we don't really want to set ourselves where we're like, right, oh, we're going to do a lap, so to speak. We want to just be sort of relaxed with it. Um, if we want to go there, we go there. If we want to go. So um, <clears throat> that, I guess that's the beauty of um, 
with having music as as the income on the road, like there's a few ways we can either like line up a, a run of gigs, say for four or five months, and we can go from A to B to C to D and just mm. scoot around. Or if we want, we can just um, go to uh, one of the resorts like Kings Canyon we've done before in the Territory um, mm-hmm. where I was contracted there to play every night um, or the Well Shot, which is I'm sporting their Friday night staff shirt. Mm-hmm. It's a beauty. Mm-hmm. But, it is a um, nice yeah. so we've, <laughs> a bit Larry, but, um, yes, yeah, so we've done some work out there with them. Um, what, October, November was their last stint out there, yeah. I think. And, um, yeah, so we, we like going out there. I'll, um, I normally open the pub in the morning and I do my eight hours and then Jill will take over from me. I'll go have a shower, clean up, and then I start singing for three hours and then I finish and then wow. go and hang yeah. out with the kids. So it's, um, it's a big, big day out there. And yeah, we, we normally, if we can get sort of four to six weeks straight of, of work out there, we can, um, we plan that it should be able to, um, sort of fun just straight travel for a good two or three months and without sort of having awesome. to worry about it so yeah yeah and a lot and of then, those um oh, sorry yeah. <laughs> i was gonna say a lot of those out west pubs that are sort of out in the outback they're, they're so welcoming to families yeah so like we pull up or obviously we get in touch first and they'll let me work and they'll let jeremy work and then like they yeah. the kids become part of the pub family I guess. yeah you, you don't feel as a, as Not, a burden yeah. like you're welcome mm. and you can just yeah go for it and it's a great experience for everyone i guess yeah. like the kids love yeah. it out there they just that's love beautiful. the outback yeah it's cool awesome. so that yeah that's that's pretty much that'll be the main way we we do it um just go where the work is i guess but at the same time it just gives us the freedom to um if we want to pull up somewhere that we really enjoy and stay there for a month then i guess we can you know yeah, so is there any specific destinations you would love to go and see? We definitely, definitely want to get over to WA. Like we would, I've never we, been there. Yeah, um, yeah, I've only ever been there twice and it was just fly in, do the gig and then fly back out. So I didn't really get to see a great deal of it. But um, mm. okay. yeah, I'd, I'd um, definitely love to do the West mm. Coast. I think it's it, – but another thing – with it being in a bus and not a full driving caravan, mm. we're unsure of, of how much um, we'll get to stay. <laughs> where we'll get. I'm oh, sure yeah. there's still plenty of places. You'll still see a lot. Yeah. 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 We, we have sort of thought about eventually down the track if we, we'll do the bus trip and then if we go there again, we might hire a caravan and, and full drive to go and do the beach access places and stuff. But yeah. Yeah, no, we definitely want to get to WA. That's a big... Yeah, and then um, South Australia too, through the bike. Like, it, yeah, mm. just all of that sort of stuff. Like, we have done um, the territory through the guts. We haven't spent any time up in... Yeah, we haven't gone north of Alex. Yeah, so, um, yeah, we've been smack bang in the middle, but we haven't haven't gone up to Darwin or anything. So, oh. uh, yeah, I guess so. It's coastal places to start with, but we we love the outback, so yeah. we'll be we'll be yeah everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> mm. We've told well, the kids we'll pull up at a T intersection and just tell them you pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's awesome. That's great. I love it. Yeah. That's like freedom. That's just yeah, ultimately exactly. like yeah. freedom lifestyle. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, awesome. That's the hope. Yeah. yeah. Um, have you guys, obviously you have done some traveling already. Um, it's one question that we always ask is just like, can you tell us about like some awesome experiences that you've had maybe when you, um, well, when you were in New Zealand, you only had about five months, Hey, of traveling before it was like lockdowns, <laughs> but maybe New yeah. Zealand, maybe back here in, in Australia, maybe in the world. Well, I think for us as a family, I'd say the standouts were, um, the Northern Territory. So when we worked at Kings Canyon, that was awesome. Like yeah. Sakai got to go to a little community school out there and, oh, cool. you know, one classroom. Um, and, yeah, that was just cool. Like they did the rim walk, they did all that. And they were three and five at the time. So mm-hmm. <laughs> that was cool. Um, and then, yeah, New Zealand just 
like we lived right down the bottom of the South Island in Invercargill. So mm. it was everywhere you went was different and just yeah. it was just amazing. Like one of the coolest things I think was um one night the kids had never been they'd seen snow when we got off the plane and stuff, but they'd never been in snow. And um if that makes sense, like in when it's snowing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um one night they had this crazy cold snap in the middle yeah, of winter we, and we, we were on were, sea level. We were like, living sea level, yeah. Like we were 10 minutes from the beach. And it was probably about 1 a.m., middle, yeah. middle of lockdown. <laughs> oh, no, it was just at the end of it. Anyway, <laughs> it started snowing, like, at sea level. Yeah. And it was crazy. We pulled the kids out of bed, and they're just like, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, I, I, woke up, I woke up to Kai, and I carried her out. And I'm like, check it out. And she's just like, started her life. And then she's like, okay. And then <laughs> went back to bed. And then I brought Jed out. And this is their personalities in a nutshell. I'm like, woke uh-huh. him up once we got out there. And I'm like, Jed, check this out. And he's like, what is that? And I'm like, it's snow. And it's like one in the morning. He's just <laughs> got his PJs on and he's off. No shoes, no nothing in it. Off he goes. And oh, good just, stuff. Yeah, he's playing. And, I, and then, um, <clears throat> yeah, it wasn't until the morning they both got up and it was, they just loved it. It was just snow. Yeah. And we went down to bluff. And um, we we're standing on top of, well, bluff is obviously a bluff. Mm. <laughs> and the, the ocean, like it was just snowing coming in from the ocean. Yeah. It was insane. Wow. Like it was, wow. it's wow. In it's such a, yeah, it's such a weird experience to be on the ocean yeah, in the snow. Yeah, the beach. But, um, yeah. Yeah, wow. that, that was a standout for me. And then when we finally did come home, we had a flight booked from um, Queenstown that got cancelled. So we booked one from Auckland. We just got a hire car and drove all the yeah. way from south to the north and we, we thought that was pretty cool yeah instead of um just sort of jumping through and yeah we wanted to see as much as we could knowing that we were going back to australia and so who knows um, when we'd mm. get back so. yeah but yeah definitely travel wise a highlight would have to be new zealand yeah. i think just because <clears throat> when we decided to buy the bus we knew that um we had like that six or seven months um and it was just like Right, we're not sort of working for that end goal. We're not trying to buy that house or whatever. We've already got mm. our plan in place mm. back in Australia. Um, so whenever we've got a day free, let's just go. Mm. And we did, like, you know. We went camping and how cold was it when we oh, went? Oh, yeah, it was like <laughs> we went, freezing. But, I can't remember where, where, what it's called, but we went um, to where Lavora they, Lakes. Lavora Lakes, and that's where they filmed um, yeah. one of the scenes in The Lord of the Rings where they're yeah. yeah. stuck wow, in the wow. river. Yeah, it was where, um, was it old Frodo or Sam jumps in the river and he can't swim and Frodo's yeah. in the boat and goes back like the first one. So it was that scene, caught an awesome rainbow trout there too, by the way. It but was um, so cold. Yeah, it was, just, it was, it was freezing, it was but it was just, just <laughs> it was beautiful. It like was it was yeah. stunning. And that sort of thing, like we were just like, right, we're just going to do it. Every you know, every um, yeah, yeah. If if it was a Thursday or a Friday, and Jill and I were both off, it was just like, right, oh, kids, we're going, we're, <laughs> we're going. So, um, and I really do rate um Southland as a region in yeah. in New Zealand because there's so much to do in such yeah, a small they area. Just have like, world class stuff. Yes, yeah. and nobody really, everybody skips over Southland, but they yeah. have. Yeah, it's it's crazy. There's so much to see there. But um, yeah. that would be family wise for you. You've been in quite a few places, like with your music and stuff. Yeah, I yeah, I guess so. Like I've been to the states. I've done Nashville a few times. Done mm-hmm. London and whatnot. But that yeah, just music and whatnot. But I I don't know. I just go back to the family stuff. Like New Zealand's a highlight. Like yeah. if I could go back to Nashville tomorrow, I certainly would. But um, yeah. Yeah, I'd probably flip the coin over it or New Zealand as well because I'd, I'd love to go back there with the kids. It's yeah. just so good. Yeah. It's yeah. definitely a place I want to go. She's been there. I haven't been in New Zealand. so mm. yeah. It's, yeah, amazing. We want to we want to go for like a long-term travel around New Zealand. Definitely. And, see recommend it, yeah. and it's, mm. it's so good for the kids, like especially where we were in Southland. Like I was saying, it's, it's run by the ILT, so it's like... A, it gives back to the community. They have sort of monopoly over yeah, all, all the liquor licensing and oh, wow. a lot of the hotels they own. <clears throat> and um, they put it all back into the community. So they've got like world-class yeah. velodromes. They've got rock climbing indoors. They've got mm-hmm. big, 
they've got a big water park indoors. And what is um, it, what, 40,000 in, in Chicago? Is it... Yeah, I think there's about 40,000 people in Chicago. And, like, every corner you go to, there's a, a playground better than pretty much anything I've seen in Australia. Yeah. Like, they're so well kept. Yeah. And it's it's just, yeah, I don't know if that's just Southland or it's the whole of New Zealand. Nah, but it, there's two sides to the coin, obviously. But, yeah, because the licensing trust owns like i don't know i think it's like almost 20 venues or something and yeah i think there's almost what 10 to 20 percent of all their income goes back into schools yeah. and community yeah. stuff so, so they it is pumping cool. themselves up that yeah exactly good. it's great it yeah. is a good idea so yeah. Mm. but yeah new zealand highly love it. recommend it yeah couldn't recommend it mm. anymore yeah yeah and out of all your experiences and then the things that you've seen and the travels you've done so far, what sort of top advice would you give to anyone else that are currently traveling or wanting to travel? I would say just do it. You'll yeah. find a way. Like... That's exactly what I was going to say. Just do it. <laughs> like, I've seen so many people online yeah. questioning, like, how do we afford it? How do we do this? And yeah, obviously we we've don't. We've got kids. Yeah. We can't just take them out of sports. Well, why not? Yeah. <laughs> at at yeah. the moment, the way the way everything's gone with um, COVID, that it's just a perfect example yeah. of, well, the, the kids don't here. need to be there. Mm. As long as you're to teach them. Um, yeah. yeah. It, it's fine so there's yeah that that's there's, there is a lot of work as well i think a lot of people are worried to do it with kids because they won't find work um i don't know if it it obviously helps us that he does music but yeah. like i said there's places where we've gone and they've just gone yep the kids can be here you can be here you can both work yeah. you know and they work around us so there's just yeah, ask that's just amazing. put the feelers out and ask people yeah there's there's all they can say is no, more you know? than one way to to do it um yeah. i'd yeah just do it. There's, there's, You'll find a way. Find a way yeah. to reach out and ask. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. And what about would you advise someone to build a bus or like things, oh, start oh. doing things like that? Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, you I, know I, now. I think um, I would tell them that it's not as easy as it looks on the internet sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely. I mean, we neither of us have any trade experience, and we're getting it done. We do yeah. have a very good friend that's handy on the tools, and he helps us yeah, a lot. <laughs> he's, he's been doing all the yucky stuff. He's been doing the the grinding and the welding. He ripped uh, out the fuel tank and welded stuff. He, yeah, he's done so all that sort of stuff for us. That um, sort of stuff that I would absolutely mince up. Um, <laughs> he's been cool and coming and help us out. But um, it's totally doable. There's so yeah. many like like that's another thing groups that help. There's, yeah always going to be somebody like for, for anyone like we the position we were in we couldn't go and buy a hundred hundred and fifty thousand dollar caravan or whatever we didn't have a, a yeah, super big a nice full drive, drive like, or anything like that just the position we were in yeah. so we thought um with the kids too like we'd love that extra space so we thought the bus and and whatnot and um it has been an adventure already in itself, just um, the the kid out of the bus. Like, we're like, learning. Yeah, I'll, learning. Be, I'll be so glad that you're the same time. It'll be like, oh. Yeah. Like, it was something cool to say yourself. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. We sort of know a lot about stuff now because we've ripped the back of the bus. Yeah. Rip the floor out. out. We know what's yeah. underneath. We know. <laughs> like we are saying, we it gives you a lot of knowledge of your vehicle. Like, I still wouldn't be comfortable to try and fix it if it broke down. <laughs> we yeah. know where everything is. We know the general area. And if something's making a noise, we're going to know what it is. And um, yeah. I think it's just, yeah, I mean. Another thing, like, if we can do it, anyone yeah, can do it. So that, we, yeah. we say that all the time on yeah. our channel. Like, we're just like, if we can. Yeah. We, we bought the bus and we've just done it step by step, just with the dream, pretty much, yeah. of having the freedom. Like, we we've want to. mistakes. Yeah. We want to minimalize, you know, like we really want to break things down. We just want to go away in our little bus and take the kids out on the road and just show them, mm. you know, as we're learning about the country too, but just show them everything that we can, give them the experience. And if yeah. they want to do something, they'll do it. If they don't, then we'll just keep on cruising. But um, I know, I just, I just think it's an awesome opportunity. And yeah, if we can do it, then absolutely anybody can, can just, roll their sleeves up and just have a go for sure yeah and yeah. I've, I've seen a lot of people online say like <clears throat> like <laughs> we, we, 
we may or may not have had um, COVID about two weeks ago and we've still got this bloody tickle in the throat, so it's pain, but apologies. Um, I've, seen, I've seen a lot of people online say, like, I can't afford, you know, like you said, the expensive setup or the, the brand new four-wheel drive or caravan or anything mm. like that. Like, do you need that? And I think it just obviously it depends on who you are and what you want. So if you want to go four driving, yeah. But, um, like, what we've done so far, the bus was less than ten thousand dollars itself. Hmm. Um, by the end of it, it'll cost less, I think, than a brand new four wheel drive. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously up front, it's it's a lot to put down, but you know, it it is yeah. doable for people that don't have a, a large amount of savings there to do yeah. it over time. Yeah, like I'd say, we've probably put maybe thirty. We didn't really want to think about it, but we're trying to break it down. And yeah, I'd say like not including the cost of the bus, I'd say we've put like an easy 30 grand into it. And that's been like just buying quality stuff as we yeah. go. But yeah. at the same time, like we never went out and spent 10 grand in a day. Like we worked for it and then we were like, right, we're going to buy this. We want the best that, that we can get. And we're just going to fit that. Um, yeah, so and it- then we'll move to the next thing. So. Yeah. It can be done even cheaper than what we did. Um, sure. I think the biggest outlay we've done is the solar and the batteries. That was about yeah. four grand. But you know, and and the toilet. We and that'll be the, the that'll be the same for yeah. everyone's. Um, yeah. Everyone's build. Like if they go in thinking that solar is going to be, pardon me, the most expensive part of it, then you know there'll be no shocks. I guess. Yeah. yeah. Unless. <laughs> unless you they need cut a battery. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but. Yeah. yeah, that was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> but yeah, I yeah, it's doable and it's fun. Yeah, so, it's definitely yeah. fun. If, if you're thinking about it, just do yeah, it. That's the advice. Don't even yeah. think about it. Just do it. Go jump in. And, and, you and <laughs> you'll be surprised. That's what most of the people tell us. Just do it. Yeah, literally. Yeah, but it's just yeah, do it. Just do it. <laughs> It's become so like I know it's Nike's like motto, but it's become like our like whole traveling community's motto because everyone just says just do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, you don't even like we've seen people doing it in a swag in a car, you know. Yeah. So you don't even need to go out and get a big rig or you know, it's yeah. I've seen people do it with kids and they just have a hatchback with like a mattress in the back, you know. Mm. It's yeah. yeah, it's so doable. Up to the individual, that, yeah. whatever, whatever what you're comfortable with, about, what you yeah. want to do, like. We've got two big dogs as well, so we did need the kids. <laughs> They're going to make things interesting. I'm surprised they haven't yeah. come up before. But they but, usually uh, come and say hello yeah. and knock everything. But, yeah, I think I think the whole COVID situation has definitely shown a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. And just giving yeah. them that push to just, just yeah. go and yeah. do it. There's so many possibilities, yeah. 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 Don't have to do your 50, 60 hours a week. Everyone's realised that they can... Mm. Take a step back and do the important things rather yeah. than yeah. assess life a bit different. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Is that one more one more question we have? Um yeah, I guess just if you guys want to tell our followers, um, even Jeremy with your music stuff, like if that's a different um, you know, Social. handle or socials, um, please tell them all your, your socials now and we'll pop them at the bottom of the video as well. We'll start with his music. So it's just Jeremy Turner music on everything. Yeah. Um, and then our, our travel stuff's a bit different. So um, on YouTube, you have to search One for the Road channel because there's a really big song <clears> called <throat> One for the Road. Yeah, <laughs> Monkeys put out a song, One for the Road, and they've got like five or six million hits. So <laughs> we're like 78 pages down. Oh. Lot, like <laughs> channel. So yeah. One for the Road channel yeah. on YouTube. Okay. That's our main that, sort of yeah, um, what we do, the um, most. social um, stuff. Okay. So. Instagram's just one for the road Oz, so A U S on the end, and then Facebook is um I think one for T R A U S Oz. So yeah, we we picked a name that had a lot of. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't too bright, but um, <laughs> we thought it was yeah. cool at the time, and then we'd committed and. <laughs> yeah, I think it's an awesome now. name. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> That's why it's a popular. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I was doing a fishing video in New Zealand and I kept saying, I'll just have one more cast for the road. 
and like trying to catch a fish. I reckon I would have said that about 50 times as I cast it yeah. and didn't catch a thing. So that one <laughs> never went on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it can mean anything yeah <laughs> yeah exactly yeah <laughs> no that's awesome i love it um yeah i don't we don't have any more questions it's been it's been awesome if there's anything else you guys want to share with us or let our listeners know oh just if you see yeah. us on the road yeah come up say good day if if you do check out any of the socials just get in touch we um as you can tell from um the the podcast tonight we love a good chat so yeah just reach out we'll um <laughs> i talk underwater so it's all good um yeah get in touch yeah if you see us at, if you see him singing somewhere come up and say hi to us like yeah. we'll all be there somewhere yeah but yeah just yeah don't be a stranger don't be a stranger that's it <laughs> easy amazing yeah thanks guys I yeah. thanks so much again Thank for you. tuning in yep no right. we really appreciate it yeah, thank you so for much having for having, having us on, on. Thank you for listening to another awesome episode of Travelling Friends of Oz. We hope you enjoyed it. Let us know how much you like the podcast by rating it in order to help it reach more listeners across Australia. The podcast is a non-for-profit, so we appreciate all the support. Please also share the podcast on your socials by tagging Travelling Friends of Oz as we are on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. These links are in the description below. And remember to subscribe as there are many more stories yet to be told. Travellers listening to this, if you want to be featured on the podcast, get in contact with us. We would love to share your story with other travelling friends of ours.